communication system works in my family, it starts with my family first. We communicate to ourselves. Okay, when, when we communicate with the, the woman, since I'm representative from the Sangsang Bagmarame in the village, so we communicate during our monthly meeting, like family normally do, the monthly meeting that we always do. And then uh, what the issue that we we bring up into that Songsongo Bakamarama issue, it will go up into the Mosebakor. So the Mosebakor will take it up to the Tikina on the issues that is very important for us. So from the Tikina it will go to the provincial office then into the national level. We do have um, Songsongo Bakamarama meetings or Matangali meetings and from there we um, then pass on our ideas or what we want to take up through to the village meetings and right up to the provincial level, district, commission west and right up to the national. It's through meetings that's being held. Well, communication system in my community is uh, easier because we have a structured uh, organization. When I say structured, we have got the, the, our groups at the local level, district level and national level. And through our local meetings, when we have in the branches in different villages, they get together, they pass the message, they talk and they convey the message to the district level and from there it comes up to the national level. And the communication is like usually we have our meetings, monthly meeting at the district level and weekly meetings in the local level, and monthly meetings at the district level and quarterly meetings at the national level. So it filters down the news, uh, whatever messages is uh, passed on. We, we receive SMS messages from the uh, uh, Women's Weather Watch from Family Face Week and from that message we just connect you to our clubs and the communities. In my community it works with the mobile and regular meetings and when we have occasions of our cultural programs it works like that. I believe we should have a good weather watch, like with radio. With radio, government should ensure that we have a good radio system, exact. And people working in government areas, they should be exact in, uh, in uh, producing the exact timing, say, if a hurricane comes, uh, to be exact. Uh, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to, uh, like going to higher grounds, or the timing of the hurricane comes. A good weather watch, especially from the government, uh, so let us know in advance what's going to be faced next. In my village, uh, my village is uh, in the rural communities, uh, way up in um, the Kondrobe in uh, Tawake, and also uh, I speak for Madawata um, in Tawatuki uh, and Undu. And for them, communication is mainly by radio, and uh, uh, telephone is very patchy. The network is patchy, uh, it depends on uh, the weather sometimes and uh, uh, very few people have uh, um, TV, um, have uh, Sky TV so they can access the news whenever they can and uh, um, apart from that there is the famous coconut wireless where people just pass word by mouth uh, there is this thing happening here or there is a cyclone uh, coming or they would uh, start to share around traditional signs and symbols that there is a cyclone coming because they can see the nest the nesting of the the birds and the insects like bees and hornets are on the ground and that is a bad sign that's a sign of cyclone and uh, Yes, so we pass those kind of information around by word by mouth.